okay uh, welcome viewers so in this video lecture uh, we want to talk about difference operator okay so we now start this topic that what is a difference operator difference operator let f of x be a continuous function then delta is called a difference operator and it is given by delta f of x this is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x okay so you see that that uh, what does it give us okay suppose that that this is a uh, one continuous function and here for this point x we have uh, this point on the graph of the function okay? and for this point x plus h we have suppose this point q uh, x plus h f of x plus h okay now this height is given by f of x this is given by f of x and this height uh, it is given by f of f of x plus h okay. so uh, it is actually the difference between these two functions so this thing uh, is represented by f of x plus h uh, minus f of x okay. now suppose i apply delta square on f of x so what it is uh, it is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x now again apply delta on this so delta f of x plus h minus delta f of x so what it is it is f of x plus 2h minus f of x plus h minus uh, what it is it is f of x plus h minus f of x so this is equal to f of x plus 2h minus f of x plus h minus f of x plus h so it is minus 2 time f of x plus h plus f of x okay so this is how you can find delta delta square and delta q okay so what i recommend is this that you remember this thing that how to find uh, delta square okay and delta now next we see this thing uh, relationship between uh, relationship uh, between e and delta so what is the relationship between e and delta this we want so delta of f of x this we have seen that this is equal to f of x plus h uh, minus f of x okay so you know that that e of f of x uh, this is equal to f of x plus h so this f of x plus h it can be written as delta uh, sorry this can be written as e of e of f of x f of x uh, minus f of x okay. now take f of x common so it is e minus 1 f of x okay. e minus 1 f of x so it is delta f of x so on comparing both sides what do we get we get delta equal to e minus 
और e इक्वल टू वन प्लस डेल्टा सो दिस रिलेशन यू कैन रिमेंबर लाइक दिस सपोज दैट दैट e इज एन एलिफेंट इट सपोज e इज एन एलिफेंट एन एलिफेंट इज ए बिग एनिमल Elephant is a big animal. Now, suppose this is any other element, uh, any other animal. Okay, so other animal, other animal. So to compete with the uh, elephant, okay, he requires one companion. Okay, that is what it is. One companion. Okay, so like this, you can uh, remember it. Okay. E mean elephant, delta mean other animal, and one mean uh, one more companion. Okay, so in order to compete with the elephant, this animal need one more companion. So in this way, you can remember it. Okay, now next we talk about that if we apply delta on uh, any general polynomial, how does it behave? Okay, so behavior. behavior of delta on general polynomial okay now for the further discussion we will always take h value equal to okay now uh, suppose that that uh, i want to apply delta on x square okay suppose i want to apply delta on x square so uh, what is this x square uh, this x square can be taken as f of x okay so you see that that delta f of x the formula of this is f of x plus h uh, minus f of x but you were told that for our further discussion we will take h value equal to 1 because in case of recurrence relation h value is always taken as 1 so this is f of x plus 1 minus f of x so if your function here is x square okay then what is f of x plus 1 it is x plus 1 whole square minus x square okay so apply here a a plus b whole square formula a square plus b square plus 2a minus x square so x square minus x square cancel with each other So it is two x plus one. So it means that when delta it is applied on x here, okay, uh, it gives us this answer. Okay, uh, so it means that that delta does not behave like derivative operator operator. when applied on general general polynomial okay a uh, general polynomial so this is very very important result and you all remember it okay that whenever delta is applied on any uh, general polynomial okay uh, in that case it does not behave like uh does not behave like a, a derivative operator okay so this will be used uh, in uh, further lectures so more about it will be discussed in the next video lecture thank you very much viewers for watching this video